Hi everyone, Dr. Mann from Boca Midtown Animal Hospital, and today we're talking about Kaya. Kaya came into us at only about four and a half months old, limping on her front left leg. She was painful on her shoulder. We sent out an x-ray, and the radiologist interpreted this as a condition that we don't see every day. Nine out of 10 veterinarians would have missed this diagnosis, and thankfully, we send out all our x-rays to a radiologist for exactly this reason. Behind me, you can see a shoulder joint in a dog, and we're gonna see what it looks like with this condition. So here you can see an area that starts to appear flat. This is a condition called osteochondrosis dissecans. This is a defect in the cartilage in this joint that the radiologist was able to clearly see on Kaya's films. It's right there. There you go. spun around the blood for the first time and we're going to take the top layer we're going to put it all in this tube we have a two full tube of blood and then we're going to spin that down Now we've uh, removed the top of the serum and we only have the most concentrated bottom 3 ml. And we are going to add to this uh, the reagent. The reagent, what it's going to do is it's going to pump the platelets and release all the growth factors and stem cells which are in the platelets. about 30 minutes and we have to wait for it to do time. So this is the prepared platelet-rich plasma. As you can see, it's viscous. It's a big jelly there. Uh, the jelly is actually the outer layer of the platelets that have popped. And what we're going to do is get the liquid portion, which is the platelet-rich plasma. And that is where, the, uh, where all the good stuff is. One of the great things that I love about the needle scopes is uh, traditional arthroscopy is very rigid and, and uh, these, these cameras would break and this is actually a very flexible uh, scope apart from the fact that it's only 1.2 millimeters so it's truly just like injecting a needle into the joint. Today we're going to be uh, doing the stroger uh, arthroscopy or needle scoping uh, with this uh, BioVision needle scope. It's a 1.2 millimeter needle that has a camera take video and pictures up here we can focus uh, it's the smallest scope on the market here we have uh, the OCD lesion wrapping around in front of us here so it's been confirmed we're going to go in and take that out see down here at the bottom there's a little reddened area that is a subchondral bone um, under the area of cartilage that's damaged. So here we have a lesion on the other side that we're going to be taking out there. So that is the defect there? That's a small little defect right there. Yeah. Here's an example of a piece of the defective cartilage that was inside this joint that was causing all this pain for this patient. Now it's been removed and the patient no longer has to suffer from this osteochondrosis causing pain for this patient. We've already closed the joint capsule in this joint. 
and we've already cleaned out uh, the OCD lesion. We're going to inject now uh, what's called hyaluronic acid uh, that works almost as joint fluid to fill the joint. And then we're going to follow that by platelet rich plasma that we prepared previously. As you can see, this is very thick. It acts uh, as a lubricant in that joint. Now that we cleaned it out. And here we have some, uh, two mLs. So we're going to do one mL on this, this shoulder and another mL on the next shoulder. So we have already injected the hyaluronic acid. And now we're going to follow it through with the platelet rich plasma into the joint. It goes in nice and smooth. Now we are infusing the surgical area with Nocida. Nocida is a three day pain block, nerve block. So now we have the incisions closed and now we move to the other side. So Kaya is now recovering from her procedure and she's doing well. She's a little bit cold despite being on a heated surgery table. So we recover our patients with this bear hugger here. You can see it's full of air and this is hot air. This is to help keep her temperature as high as possible to warm her up during the recovery. And we're waiting till her temperature reaches at least 99 degrees Fahrenheit before we feel good about her being warm.